Rob Schneider and Patricia Snyder are our guests, and the show is Guest Scrubs. Hey, welcome back. Hello, and welcome to a very special uh, edition of Guest Grumps with uh, the magical Rob Schneider. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> yeah! Great to be here. And don't my, forget about me. And his Come lovely on. wife, Patricia, whose last name I do not know. Schneider. It's Schneider. <laughs> That's a really Schneider. good fucking point. I should have, you know what, I'm really sorry about that. I, 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 did, I, didn't, I didn't mean to throw you for a, for a, <laughs> to throw you a, think lob, that one through. a, a long lob for you to miss on that one. Alright, so this is, this is really fucking cool. First of all, because Patrice wanted to play Mortal Kombat, oh, which, and we were like, oh my god, yeah, like yes. Busted down the door and we're like, we're playing Mortal Kombat today. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm, I'm a very sweet person, you can tell now. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna know all the like brutal moves. And stuff. <laughs> Let's kill some shit. So this person First battle is between Patricia and Aaron. Is that am I correct? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. Oh, so you guys get play. See, this is like you got to know. Like I was like thirty when this thing came out, so like I was already <laughs> over the whole video. Uh, right. I mean, Donkey Kong. I think it was about the end of my days, and and maybe Donkey Kong. maybe Pac Man Two. Oh, Pac Man Two is a classic. It is. It is. It is. What Pac Man Two is way better. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm 37 and I play fucking video games for a living. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> We're on different paths, Rob. That's good, though. <laughs> so who are you going to be? So you have to oh, each yeah, choose? I'll be Sub-Zero. I'll be the other Sub-Zero. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Unmasked Sub-Zero. Do you, yeah, do you remember what the story here was? Like, oh, you I, have to hit... As oh, soon as I got... Go. I saw the word Realm, that's when I, I, I checked out. <laughs> Whenever I see Realm, I, I'm gone at yeah. that point. Not not a sci-fi fantasy guy? Not really. Like, you know, I heard the new Star Wars is a lot like the first Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. So, Almost exactly like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so getting then, criticized for that exact reason. Yeah. So I go, well, I saw the first Star Wars. Fair enough. I super loved it. Did you see Deadpool by any chance? No. no we have a kid, so we don't do any of that. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Cool. You, know, you know what we do? We talk about what we, w- what we would do if we could do them. <laughs> like, Deadpool seems like a great idea. I super loved it, man. There we go. If, yeah, okay. if you can somehow get... Um, so what's happening right now? Which They're beating the shit out of each well, other. I'm the one who's more naked than the other one. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. He's trying to remember all those combos. Right? What is that? That, that is a pool of ice. Again. So these characters are Sub Zero. They're both the same guy. Oh, well, oh, actually, yeah. the one I am is his little brother after he died. Oh, oh yeah. Well, there you go. So, well, okay. should I just see brain matter fly out of the head? Is a little bit. Do? These things happen. Okay. okay. Don't even worry about it. The floating druids will take care of everything. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, nice work. Got me wow. That's yeah. That's one, Patricia. Zero for Aaron. And so, um, very fine. Very fine. okay. So what what era are we talking here? What years? This is. This like I can't remember exactly which game this is, but Mortal Kombat started in like '92. Damn, nice. Um, and then this compilation I think was like '97. Okay. Yeah. So we're going back a ways. This is like almost That's 20 right years in your old. wheelhouse, Patricia. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry, I'm not even paying oh, attention. I'm just. just <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus fucking I Christ! Why? Just give me a sec. Yeah. Right. Sub Zero. Coming to our own house and embarrass wow. us. Wow. <laughs> Believe me, this is Wait, why. So who's I, next I, against the champion? Yeah. Press start to continue. Okay. Um, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah. All right, take down the chance. Oh, thank you, Dan. thank you. You oh. want to switch this, switchy? This is oh, not going to reach play? you. No, 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 I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm, doing, I'm just kind yeah, of... Fair enough, just I'm hanging out. I'm blown away that just I'm hanging, hanging out with out. Gang Grumps. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this is... Well, thank you for having oh, us, by you. the way. Oh, yes, of yeah, course. so this this uh, is a very special episode because it was born out of interesting circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, as opposed to? Yeah, as opposed to just the dumb shit that we do all the time. <laughs> and so, like, for anyone who didn't uh, say, I'm going to be Sonia because she's extra hot. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Think I, want to I would love to meet the girl who uh, posed for the digital imaging of this, mm, you know, so I could be like, "You were so hot in 1996." Wow, that'd be super nice for her to hear right now. Yeah, I'm sure she would love. Yeah, I'm sure that <laughs> that physique has diminished considerably. <laughs> I like to think positively, um, but yeah, like so for anyone who didn't see our Mario Maker episode, yeah. uh, Aaron and I were um, in a hotel room in Portland. Um, for That's on business, on on business. business. We had two yeah. different beds. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Sure. Um, and uh, and Aaron was watching uh, Rob's show, Real Rob, Rob and Patrice's show, Real That's Rob. That's right. Yep. And oh, the toasty guy. I forgot about him. Yeah, you gotta hit start when he does it. Noted. And um, so which one is Patricia? Uh, the purple. Purple one. Sindel. She oh has goodness. she has a Ooh. shrieking scream. She really looks very like eighties. Um, Ooh. 
She oh, looks yeah. like a like a replacement member for Rat. Patricia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you just win again? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is stop. <laughs> stop it already. I know this that. Is, we do this yeah. for a living. Okay. Jeez. God damn it! She's wow. incredible. I'm here for you guys. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my God. You. All right, I'm giving it back to you, Aaron. Oh my God. Because this is fucking embarrassing. Okay, guys. Okay, that was ridiculous. I just, I just came to play. Now, now you know what my life's like emotionally. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like, um, remember in Wet Hot American Summer where Joe Latriglio is watching, uh, Watching dudes save the kids off screen, and he's like, "You, you master! <laughs> like, I can't! Uh, Damn it!" That's how it feels. So anyway, um, yeah, you guys are in Portland. Yeah, so we're in Portland, and Aaron is watching uh, Real Rob on his phone and having, a, shall we say, a reaction to it? Mm -hmm. um, where yeah, very passionately. Very passionate, frustrated reaction. Well, basically, what to sum it up? What was it? Aaron, I just didn't like, I, I so I didn't understand who the show was for obviously not you <laughs> right yeah clearly you fall outside the I, at least I know that, yeah. yeah totally so but, but that was but both specifically because I really liked the passion you were behind it like and uh, and Patricia liked it because oh yeah because you guys loved me so like this is oh that's true oh, yeah. that's true you were spared oh, the amazing. rage amazing <laughs> I thought everything was fantastic in the show I just thought it, it was it was strange to me how uh, the god damn it do I have to really say this while I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Wait a minute, which one are you? <laughs> she, the, the, you God, Aaron's the one getting stop. the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, take there that. You. Yeah, how about okay. that? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, oh, okay. We yeah. finally got a fight oh, on no. our hands. Um, so I, I just, I... Yeah, no, no, <laughs> what? Oh. So, oh, this, this is right down the line. Your character, <laughs> See? Your wow. character was Barely portrayed yes. as an asshole. Yes. And then the rest of the world <laughs> was also portrayed as an asshole. So I was like... I don't, I don't like either of these yeah, sides. Everyone's an asshole here. Well, I mean, always to me the funniest stuff was, um, you know, first of all, the reason I call it real Rob is because of the um, the world is full of assholes. Well, no, well, <laughs> yeah. what I mean, I wanted, there's, there's some truth there. Well, yeah. the Cohen brothers did the movie Fargo, and then I, um, and they said a true story in the beginning of Fargo, and then they, then later on, I heard them say like, ah, oh, it's not a true story. You can put anything you want on there. So we just say real Rob. And yeah. just and say you know so people could get confused like yourself. That's true. And then, <laughs> but I, to me, the funniest stuff is you know if I, we're doing our own show, we produced it, we directed, we wrote it. It would be such a. I think I'd be more of an asshole if I tried to show myself as a great guy. I think it's much funnier to show yourself being doing horrible things. To me, the funniest sitcom characters are guys. Or people who are behaving horribly, relentlessly horrible people. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I guess you're and right. And that's fun. So, like, yeah. you know, you know, um, kind of uh, uh, regressed uh, adults or whatever, like uh, John Cleese and... Um, yeah, the man children. Which one are you now on? Oh, she um, is the, the four-armed she, yeah. man. Yeah, she's Goro. And this is, to be honest, the worst one. The, go, you, the, you don't like Goro? Well, and his claymation he's used to, he's used <laughs> his body. To big and so, see, yeah, he's a little awkward. He's a little yeah. awkward. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like, it's okay. Aaron, Aaron gave this because appraisal. I, lost the la I mean, I, I won the last one, so I'm just going to probably lose this one. That, okay, no problem. <laughs> is, <laughs> you're, you're just, you're I think just Aaron like, said, is the show it. just for assholes to watch? <laughs> 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 and I went, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And then, so, and then uh, you sent us an email. Well, I was, what, what happened was somebody tweeted about it. Right. To me, and then they said, "You got to uh, listen to the review on Game Grumps," and I, that's where my first introduction to Game Grumps was. Cool, great. And then, like, <laughs> I said, so we listened to it, and we were laughing. That's yeah. cool. I loved Aaron's uh, passion about it, <laughs> and like, uh, lost you seemed, like, but without, you didn't have that there. same decadent <laughs> cynicism of normal reviewers. You seem like you were gen genuinely curious about it and very, yeah. very upset, which also I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because yeah, like me. I thought like I thought that was so cool that like you wanted to come on the show and like talk about stuff because like it's so it's so easy to like. Well, Patricia wanted to come on the show because she really you guys loved her. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. You are just you. Just, she just needed a ride here. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to. Here done in person. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, you're a delight. You're a delight on the show. <laughs> and I mean that's the thing. Okay, so now this is me versus Aaron. I'm Ermac. 
And yeah, I lost oh shit, it's me terribly. And Dan. Yeah. Oh, you oh did? my god, Game yeah, Grumps stuff. So you knew yeah. that was a bad you one to pick, you right? Smoke. Or, I, uh, no, now I remember that you, he was a terrible one. You did the very oh, courteous thing of realizing that embarrassing your hosts four times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so you just keep it at three. Purpose, keep it at three. And then, and then hand it over to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that's totally cool. Totally cool. <laughs> um, after. But yeah, so like, I super respect that, man. Like, I think it's really nice that you're here and we're happy to have you. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. Because God knows, like, we, Aaron and I certainly. Well, I shouldn't speak for you, Aaron, but I, I've had experiences where I'm like, I do this show, and I'm super excited about it, and then, like, it, it receives more criticism than I expected, and I'm like, God damn, this is hard. No, That's my so life. Many. You have no <laughs> idea. Really? There's so many frustrated people out there, and I'm not talking about any of your listeners at all. Sure. They're all well-adjusted adults. <laughs> yes, but they are. people who watch, like, comedy, like, first of all, you know, I remember, like, Kevin Smith talking to me, just, you know, talking about a reviewer, he said, just make one. Make one show, right. and then do your own game, Grumps. Just let, me, let us enjoy your talent. <laughs> let me see what you've done. And that was like, um, you know, and I, I kind of get that. But at a certain point, you just have to make stuff, and well, people are going to like it or not like it. And you'll have your fans, and you'll have your people who like what you do. And, right. And then you'll have your errands who don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> your but, curmudgeonly but at least, douchebag fan. <laughs> <laughs> what at least I liked about it was that, you know, you actually sat, sat and thought about it. It wasn't just a rejection of something that you didn't. Yeah. You only saw five minutes of. You just were genuinely concerned about who this is for. Because, like, you know, the stuff that happens, I think it's about people behaving badly in certain situations and selfishly. And it's like, you know, uh, the show gets inevitably compared to, you know, like uh, shows that supposedly invented the, you know, the genre Seinfeld or Larry David. And it's like, I seem to remember Dick Van Dyke and Bob Newhart, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. while you're going back that far or the, you know, if you're going to keep going, uh, you know, Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners. So it, what it really is is about, uh, uh, you know, people's lives that you want to see in the most interesting parts, you know, and, and, and something that would so – a lot of that stuff really happened to us. You know, like I, mean, I, I got that impression. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, somebody really did say, is that all you got? Is that all you're going to tip me? Is this five bucks? And I went, but I, the coffee's only four bucks. Yeah, but you're rich. Yeah, that you know, is weird. That, that is a weird position for him to put you in. Yeah, so I just like, let's just take that conversation to the next few levels. Right. And then, um, <sighs> you know, we're just a bystander says, what about me? You know, get, you know, can you give me some money? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Aaron, stop with your whoopee tail. Look, whatever, man. I'm sorry. I got a whoopee tail, I'm going to use it. <laughs> sorry, oh, please yeah. continue. And so then, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting totally wrapped into this game. I know. <laughs> also, it really looks like his name is Sexter. And that is not what it should yeah, be. That's weird. <laughs> they should have. They Don't should've... ever let him get your oh, phone no, number. No, no. Is yeah, there supposed exactly. to be a K in there? Yeah, that's a K. Yeah, he's Sector. 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 Uh, he, uh, is he a robot? I feel like he's. He's, he's a robot, man. Okay, oh. cool. He, he bleeds oil. Oh, yeah, I should have oh. noticed that. Oh, wow. I, didn't notice. I, I like. Oil. Yeah. I like how chill the Buddhists are in the background. <laughs> yeah, nothing's throwing them. Yeah, yeah they're like, hmm. whatever, man. <laughs> that's, that's they should at least hold up cards at the end of the game, right? Yeah, like. They've learned the art of happiness. That's probably why they chose Buddhists, because, like. They don't have to animate them. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't have to pay them. They just quietly yeah. sit there and chant. Yeah, yeah. but and and also, Whoa. damn, did I just get hit by my I, own bomb? I just like deflected it. At That's you I'm declaring yeah. shenanigans. Mm. Um, so, so okay, no, so but, uh, wow, sector one. Though. Yeah, yeah. But you, so so you came in and you said you had a story about the production of Real Rob. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, first oh, yeah. of all, it's, it's a miracle that we got it on there. Yeah. God damn it. We started it without, uh, by hiring a couple of lunatics. Who, um, who didn't know? <laughs> who didn't know that that the you know these line producers who didn't really know that they could we could make the show. They said, Oof. "Oh yeah, we can do it. How much you got? Yeah, this one. Well, you can do it for that." Mm -hmm. Turned out it cost us like over four times that. <laughs> no shit. But, but if yeah. they wouldn't have told us that, yes, we probably wouldn't jump uh, and and start doing it. You would have shied away from making the show yeah, completely. Yeah, because we didn't have that much money to start with. But once mm -hmm. you start on something mm -hmm. like what happened in that last round. Right, you just you know, sex, sex tour. Yep. New, uh, you know, uh, we just have to. You have to jump into something with both feet and then see where it leads you. And then we just did it and said, well, let's just do a pilot. And I said, well, why just do the pilot? Then have yeah. to sell to somebody. Let's just do a whole series, even though no one's ever, no actors ever done that before. Right. So we just we just figured out a way to do it, and you know, it was wow, unbelievable. Shit. Patrice Fully was casting at the night. Yeah. Wow. It, yeah. And self finance. It's ballsy, man. The yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, at the end, we had a couple of minor minority investors, but we ended up paying like eighty eight percent of the show. Yeah, no, that was Holy that crap. was a lot of wow. work. Without a place that we had no guarantee it was going to get anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't say like, oh, we have for sure it's going to get here, but uh, so that was you know exciting. It was also no network, no studio, and no, it was Patrice and I, no yeah. stars. You know, we had a couple of friends who did some guest spots. Right, David yeah. Spade and. Uh, 
George Lopez and oh, very cool. my good buddy Norm MacDonald. I love him. Yeah, Norm was great, you know. Yeah. And Norm just comes up with stuff and uh, on the fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Norm also. <laughs> everything he uh, says is a way of making, <laughs> me and my, making it funny my, there. My know. loyal army of hookers. <laughs> it's he, my was, he did this bit. We're doing like a tour and he's going to come out on a few of the dates. With Adam Sandler and David Spade and oh, Nick Sports. Awesome. He's got this bit about just he just attacks things from a different angle. Like he was saying, like, Yeah, you know, there was a a dog in history that <laughs> yeah, that loved Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love me some Hitler. I wanna and I just we were just dying listening. I wanna get me Hitler, like and uh so well, where is Hitler? When's he coming back? Well he's in the he's in the, the devil's lair right now doing some evil shit. But he'll be back and uh, yeah, well, I can't wait for Hitler to come back. <laughs> he's, you know? he, he's got such a weird delivery. I love it. We, we met Nick Swartzen like two nights ago, coincidentally. Oh, yeah, did. Yeah, he's improv. super nice. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. Um Yeah, great guy. He, Funny he, guy too. We should ha- he, I think there was discussion of him coming <laughs> he's on the show. He's a great show. guy, but man, his comedy. <laughs> no, oh. stop. Uh, no, he's been making me laugh for years. I didn't know he like uh, wrote Grandma's Boy, which is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, I, I didn't know I was in it. Is that right? No, no, no. I mean, I was in the first five minutes. I never saw the whole movie to this day. Actually, I saw it finally. Are you serious? On the plane Wait, you were last the year. Minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the I'm the, the the guy who kicks him out of their house. Oh shit! That's You're, right. Now that's do you right. appreciate me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now are you excited and nervous? Now are you good? Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I, play, I play the guy Yuri, the guy who comes in. He's oh, the Russian fuck, guy. That's right. Here's your uh, yeah. It smells yeah, like man. Um, what was it? The Cypress Hill concert in here. <laughs> yeah, really... Here your smoking lamp. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. That that is one of my favorite movies, and I think like it got a bad rap, or well, no, it's become a cult film since then. Uh, but like. There's I a think lot of people in that one. That was yeah. like Jonah Hill's first movie. Oh my god, that's really? right. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think honestly, like, part of the issue was just that like, um, the the commercials made it look like it was a movie about having sex with grandmas, and that's not what the you movie's what? about. But you're right; those commercials were stupid. They were misleading. Mm. They were totally misleading. Because I remember th- th- seeing them, and I was like, I don't want to see that movie. And then I, I watched I, I it want, randomly, and it was the commercials awesome. made me say, I want to go back and take myself out of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you're right; those were dumb commercials. Totally I forgot about that. And it made me realize like how many like pitfalls there are in in anything like that, in movies <laughs> and television. You could screw up at any time. At any in time. In the writing, in the casting, yep. in the film. Filming. Totally. I remember we were shooting one scene, real Rob, and I lost my shit on this one. Patricia will remember. But like the cinematographer, great guy, mm-hmm. but wonderful guy from uh, from Mexico that Patricia uh, found a friend of a friend, a great cinematographer, and he did a wonderful job. But there was one moment where I finally, I'm doing the scene where Patricia, it's the whole episode, it's a, I don't know if you got this far, Aaron, into the show. <laughs> but it's about, hey, at least I watched it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's episode five, I think, where where Patricia wants me to start working out because I'm getting winded, you know, playing with the baby for two minutes. Right. And uh, and I said, well, I don't want to go to that, you know, this gym. I don't want gay guys hitting on me. And, and you say... Um, well, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> you're pretty nice. safe in that area. So the whole episode, exactly, is about, you know, me trying to prove Patricia wrong, getting gay guys to hit on me. Nice. Now, why wouldn't you want to do an episode about that? Aaron? Sure, you know? sure. Look, man. So, so I'm in this, I'm doing the scene, and then... Um, you know, it's just not working as well as it's not as funny because I'm not as as gross as it should be. So I said, let me just start eating a sandwich. Right. Mm-hmm. So they made like eight sandwiches. I started chewing and eating. Go, women, gay guys won't hit on me. I'm spitting out this food and it's blah blah blah. And then I finally got a take where just the foods at the right place and I'm getting the stuff. And then you know we ad libbed a couple of lines. Um, <sighs> and then uh, I go go back to watch it. And in the middle of the take, for some reason. The cinematographer moves away from me and my great take that I just did and goes to Patricia. It was obviously prettier than me, obviously. But then, and I go like, why the hell did you, why would you do He said, the light in the back around the bathroom, the light behind you was off. I looked, I didn't like the shot. And you didn't like the shot? Yeah, the Who guy, cares? I could have put a light in there and post. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you Stop s- with the smoke, Aaron. Stop. So I'm sorry, Rob. So please you can continue. You screw up in the... <laughs> You know, in post production, you can screw up in the color. Oh yeah, you can screw up, and then you can screw up in commercials. Right, yeah. right. You gotta have a place to sell it. So, to be able to do all of it and then make the music good, and luckily we had really good music guys, and then we put it together, and then and you gotta sell it. And luckily, thankfully, uh, you know the folks at um, uh, at Netflix. <sighs> Uh, saw f- after five minutes and then bought the show. <laughs> That's really cool. That's, That's really cool. a great success story for us. Yeah, it was quite an accomplishment. I mean, we really, really worked hard to, to two, make years. It. Two, two years. Two years we put into it. 
that's you know. I remember hearing. Do you know David Wayne from the state and like yeah. Wet Hot American Summer yeah, and stuff? Yeah. yeah, he he had a quote. You mentioned that about, Wet Hot American Summer several times during this so far. I it's fucking one of his favorite love movies. Wet Hot American <laughs> Summer. That shit cracks me up so much. Like he um uh he said that like in TV. Like the rug can get pulled out from under you at any time, including while you're making it and after it's been made. Oh yeah! yeah. And I'm just like, that's holy true. shit, that's so ends. scary. Yeah, it's so scary. And then like when we finally we sold it to Netflix, and then, and then they oh, said, yeah, you got to get like uh, eyeballs. You know, like we hope we get enough eyes. I didn't even know what that meant. I mean, I'm used to like what box office dollars were or the number of what the rating was. Right, um, right, right. You know, with mm-hmm. the Nielsen ratings, but just eyes. And then, like, and they also don't care about, like, the opening weekend. It's like, we want to see how it does in three months. It's yeah. Like, what? It, it's, the game has changed. And, I mean, like, that's for us, too, because, which is super strange, because I got into YouTube in, like, 2009, and Aaron was in it almost from the beginning. Oh, this is pleasant. So and, what is this now? Oh, good lord. Yeah, we're, we're down in the spike pit. Oh, so, so oh, this is... So if you land on the spikes, you're dead. Right? Yeah, there's actually another level that you can play on up on the bridge oh, wow. where like there's certain Very like good. fatality moves. Yeah, I'm doing really well this time. It's because I'm not thinking. Yeah. Damn it! You can end up thinking. like that guy. Long story short. Yeah, you get oh. knocked oh. into the spikes. Oh, but uh, not on this level. Not no, this no, level. no. Mm-hmm. You have to fall from like the the, the way up there. Wow. Um, so w- which one is Patricia? She is the I'm yellow scorpion. one, Scorpion. So Scorpion. I'm doing unusually. W- to stop! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Oh. I know. Every time. I am doing so every good time. Right now. I, I love the ending there. It's almost like the end of like a, a ice skating, a figure skating. You'll never pose. You'll yeah. never fucking. Pe- damn it! <laughs> it's like you'll never penetrate my wall of punch. Um, but yeah, like so we we've been in YouTube for a long time, and like we've sort of gotten used to like this very cool bubble where we can do whatever, and like there's yeah. no there's no. People People looking over our shoulders telling us like to change stuff. Yeah. My god, I'm getting my ass beat. Very, cool. um, very fortunate in that regard. It, That's we fantastic. Are. It's well, we're very fortunate and it's it's right place, right time in a lot of ways because like when we started out, there was this thought of like, man, it would be cool to like turn this YouTube career into like TV and film. Yeah. Whereas now it's come into this thing where it's like the people who are in TV and film that we know are trying to figure out how to get into YouTube, you know? Like the sands just kind of like shifted underneath us yeah, and yeah. we don't, well, we, see where it leads we were just you. lucky. Try to do a little bit of everything. I mean, that's what I've done. And I've, I've managed to, you know, um, have success, uh, you know, depending on, on, you know, your interpretation of success. And I've been able to make movies and uh, you just, you try not to worry about the result of it always. Right. Because then you can, you know, it's like, you're going at it for the wrong reason, and that's hard to do in in a, in a business that judges itself by the result. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so, a really good point. The fun of it is just you got to be doing it. You know, the, <laughs> what is your interpretation of success? If you don't mind me asking. Making you know, being able to continue to eat and sleep indoors. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's our that's our interpretation too. And doing what you love. I mean, this is, this is I mean, you guys walking into your warehouse, you go well. You guys have built something here. Yeah, we're very fortunate, man. Yeah. It, it's. It kind of happened almost accidentally, but like now that it's happened, we're just like, please. When did like, you know you guys had to like get out of your house, your basement, and then go into like a warehouse? What was that point? It yeah. was that um, it was my house that we started mm. in, and uh, it was that every day somebody was in our house, and I, and I realized I didn't have a house anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had an office that I slept. It's in. such a okay. terrible feeling to like wake up and your work is like right there, yeah. like waiting for you at that's the foot what, of your bed. Yeah. That's such a weird thing because that's very similar to what we yeah. went through because mm-hmm. we used our own clothes for work. Wardrobe. Right. Yeah. So right. We, and then we had some guys going. We had people going through our clothes, picking oh, up yeah. our clothes for us. You know. <laughs> yep. And then uh, we were like, we used our own kid. Oh yeah. It was just cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I want some weird baby in this house. Oh my god, and another uh, fucking victory uh, for Patricia. I'm passing this you. controller off, Thank please. Right. Uh, I can't. I can't deal are you, anymore. Are you gonna t- take a gonna crack take at a it? Shot. Take a swing. Yeah. Oh, oh couples only. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like a champion. So yeah, she's gonna, so, so, I cannot. Uh, I gotta say that start. I haven't figured out how to get those. Uh, we haven't figured out how to play Mortal Kombat, <laughs> <laughs> lady. So it's been quite are, some time. No, you, you are good to go. Okay, so Mortal Kombat. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I don't know any moves. I just I, jump and kick and punch. Aaron just told me to push start. That well, that is oh, yeah. that will help. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna pick one. Now, wh- which, which one color am I? Which one, which color am I? You're on the right. I'm on the right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Why is it going down? Oh, you'll be. Oh, I gotta go this one. This one. Oh, yeah. There you got go. It. <laughs> oh, oh, Sweet. <laughs> Hang on. This oh, menu screen is figured the Let fuck out. <laughs> Which one you What's want? What's up? I want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jax? Yeah, yeah Jax. he's rad. Jax. I love. Which one you want to lose? How, to how do I pick? You oh, just, uh, I think any button will do it. Just whatever's the wimpiest one against me. 
or the weirdest yeah, one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you uh, hit X, Rob? Okay. And that'll yeah. pick the character. Yeah, lock yeah. it in. Oh, look at him flex his metal Hell arms. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Done. That's what's oh, happening. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. God, that is a 90s fade right there <laughs> on that haircut. Really? <laughs> yeah, that is okay, nice. Okay, but going back to the part that you guys loved me in the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are fans. Yeah, we why are fans. Was, why, why did you... Where, where, what, what was what was the difference? Well, how did I lose out? <laughs> <laughs> well, because your character's a dick, and yeah, Patricia's character's really nice. Thank you. Oh, that's yeah. not really. The how case. do you punch? Well, keep going. How do you punch? Oh yeah. Oh, you can use this. Uh, Damn, she showed you this no one? fucking yeah, mercy. <laughs> yeah, I'll have more mercy. It's cool. I promise. Well, so get I up, Jax. Yeah, go okay, go right, ahead. Try Aaron. out first. Oh, is this the one? No, no, this no, one? no, no, this one. <laughs> <laughs> And this is actually oh. you, you folks at home can't see, but this is <laughs> this is really sweet. <laughs> this is really sweet to watch. See, like, oh, you, you landed your first punch on your wife. Wow. Congratulations! Oh, nice. why, why does your punch is more powerful? Because no. oh, those are kicks. You just, just got to get good. I, I can kick you. Look. Yeah, yeah. This out. Yeah, you can Aww. kick me too. Nice. I can, yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at these sweet <laughs> test kicks. <laughs> That's just not even fair. <laughs> <laughs> what does that jump up in the air? What does that mean? Oh! Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jax. It's quite fun. Finish him. Oh, okay. Finish him. Sorry, yeah. I love you. Yeah. Oh. Sub-Zero. <laughs> That's how every uh, fight in Mortal Kombat should but end. You know what? With I a sweet I love say. you. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> yeah. That was my first time Take acting. Over, Aaron. That was yeah, your first time acting? Yes. No kidding. I knew you'd be wow. great at it. And Rob was very kind to me. And that's that's something that not a lot of people know. That uh, you know, Rob is a really good director because I can't act. I believe he it. was really cool. good at getting everything great. out of me. <laughs> you were great. You, you really, you know, it, by the once you also you warmed up. You you could see that that but is a really fun scene where there's a called VIP, uh, which is where the um, you know people treat you better because you're famous. You get you cut in front of everybody at mm -hmm. like um, which is true. Yeah, and it's annoying. Where is the place we went to? Oh, the Cheesecake Factory. Oh and fuck! Like, you know, it's, and, and you'll need the extra time to look through their eighty-page menu. <laughs> yeah, so Patricia had that the funny phone book of a menu. <laughs> Patricia had that funny line about like, and I said, uh, you know, you, you know, we just cut right in front of those people who, you know, that pre-diabetic family back there, and I went, we probably saved their lives <laughs> because of all the cheese <laughs> right, and stuff, right? Sugar. But anyway, place. so it was just a funny line, and uh, I but, thought you were still rough. <laughs> uh, oh. No. Look at this. Aha! Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. oh, oh what? Are you? What? Yeah. Damn you go. it! This is a, yeah. This is one Aaron more, one versus Tracy. Come on, come on, Aaron. Yeah. Even when she was going easy for me on me in the I'm first I'm rooting for Aaron on this one. Th well, that's oh. very kind of you. <laughs> it will. It will make no difference. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so that was. Uh, what, oh. what brought up that, honey? I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so you were under, you were great in that scene. You know, you were just like so. It was, and I, I knew you'd you'd get there. It was just we'd we'd be able to. To get to the place where you know your performance would be great, and I thought you did terrific, and apparently Aaron and Dan agree. Yeah, well, yeah, because like, th I think what we liked was that her character <laughs> is the one that calls your character uh, out on his bullshit. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and that sh that sh that show. Yeah, like, that, 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 that's what I was gonna say. Life. I was gonna yeah. say. I, th I think it was <laughs> it was just like, I mean, aside from the the performance, which was awesome. That's a refreshing what, moment. The, the, the character was like. It seemed like the only like sanity in the show, you know. Well, it's like to me, it's a reverse. I love Lucy, you know. I'm right. Lucy and she's Ricky. Yeah, that's true. That's and, true. and that way, it would seem like it would be, um, uh, oh. you know, I'm trying to get away with stuff, but hopefully, it's more oh, modern no. than that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, Patrice, a gentle knee to Molina. the face. <laughs> all right. So, okay. all right. All right. It's back to the grump, grump on grump action. See what happens. <laughs> the grumps bring it out. Oh, thank you. They, they're nice. nice to their guests in the beginning. Yeah, they and let the, the guests and, win and a then, few. Oh, I yeah. get a bad good then thing. a slow murder. Do you want to do eight player combat, Aaron? Eight player combat. <laughs> All right, never mind. No, man. We'll do that well, next let's time. Let's at least see it. Yeah. All right. Let's, yeah, let's do it next time. Then. Too, yeah, we 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 accidentally locked it in with this friggin' oh, okay. thirty second loading screen. So, Whoa. but but yeah. So we were just really, just you know, through the moon excited, and also like my buddy Jamie, who play our our buddy Jamie, who yeah. wrote the shows with us. He said, you know. This is a guy who's a great stand-up comic, mm -hmm. and uh, you know he he did like the Tonight Show. He did a comedy, half-hour comedy special on Comedy Central, and just kind of got lost in the system, you know. And and, and he's it, great. It didn't help that he, he you know went to work in Rochester, New York, at a radio station. Oh, that yeah. kind of means you're out of show business a little you bit. Know? So uh, and I, I just I ran into him. He was doing a benefit, um, and then uh, that I was doing. 
And I said, this guy's hilarious. We kept in touch and we become good friends. And then I said, you got to do this. Oof. And he came, he's hilarious in the show and I'm really happy for him. The ability, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, but good. the ability to like be in a position to help your friends and like your, especially your friends that are like talented and deserving is oh, one yeah. of the most rewarding yeah. things about all this. Yeah. I'm, it's about working with people you really like also. Yeah. 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 yeah, and but you're right though. That is to me the most rewarding thing. Is not necessarily what's with... With me, unlike my character on the show, Real Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Season two is going to be called Realer Rob. Yeah, yeah you are to piss off uh, way Aaron nicer more. in real life. Actual no bullshit Rob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like that even better. Absolutely. Actual no bullshit Real Rob. Yep. Uh, but the, um, you know, but but I'm enjoying it more for what I'm seeing for happening to Patricia and um, and Jamie. Right. And for myself. Which is one of the rare times that's ever happened in my life. Did you enjoy it? Is that something that you want to pursue, Patricia? Uh, I think, yeah, with real rub, yes. Outside real rub, probably not. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I just, I just think like. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anyone else is going to have the same patience that Rob had with me. So. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> so I'm just okay with the real rub. No, I, I, I like writing, so that's what we're having fun doing too. You know, yeah, we're writing the right second now. season. We're not right allowed to announce it yet, but we're here writing the second season. Yeah. Nice. So Congratulations. I know. Yeah. So which, what's that one in the middle there? The one that this is kind of like uh, that this one. This one? Yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, How did you know that was in my head? You're in my head right now. Well, you said the middle, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is, what is that one? What is that one? Uh, what is her name? Shiva? I think her name is Shiva. Yeah. She's Whoa. super unfair, and I'll show you why when we start playing. <laughs> God damn it. Well, she's already a uh, She has four arms. Oh, is that what? Is that true? Yeah, she yeah. got. Yeah, it's a real actor. She has four arms. <laughs> they, they found her on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and that is. Um, By the way, Craigslist is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, agreed. Uh, just, just saying. Patrice has been on Craigslist. Oh yeah, lately, and it's been great. My dad, you know, my, my parents, uh, you know, lived in Mexico, and uh, they're buying a few things in here. And it's my dad can't believe he. I mean, we were looking at some stuff today. He couldn't believe like how people actually give you their addresses. Yeah. And you go oh pick yeah. Up stuff. My dad was like, <clears throat> "Yeah, come on over." Like, yeah. Like, what? How? How if somebody tries to oh, shit, kidnap them? And I was like, "No, dad, we're not in Mexico. That's why, you know." Like, yeah. People yeah. Actually <laughs> it, it's, give their address. It's interesting because like this is the first time in our lives where we've ever had to be careful about like. Letting our information get out yeah. there and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Well, because what, what are you worried about? Because that, that's interesting to me. Because oh, like, that's stalkers, man. Really? Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, sure. It, it's a you thing. Have one? You have a, a well. <laughs> n- n- one is <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have very kind. <laughs> no, actually, we've been very fortunate. But like, th- sometimes people overstep their bounds and don't understand. Yeah. Well, they think it's pretty real. That's one thing about like True. real Rob. We've had people like um, I don't know, tweeting Twitter, or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. who've like you know, does she, you know. I can't, can't believe, believe you, you did that. Le- to yeah, I can't sister. believe you let her. You you let your wife treat you that way. Yeah. Like, it's a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, I wrote it. Yeah, the line with between, her. <laughs> <laughs> the line between fantasy and reality gets very blurry yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Um, but it's funny too, because like it's getting harder to avoid. Because sometimes you get Uber sent to your house. Like you order food. Like we ordered, we ordered sushi, like delivery, and I open up the door. This is like three days ago, and the guy's like, "Oh shit!" And I'm like, "Oh man!" You're it's, like, it, oh no. Yeah, but he was super cool. Mm. But like, you do have to. It's something yeah. you have to be concerned about. That's true. Because it's a safety yeah. issue. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Totally. So I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe someday. When we're a lot richer, we'll get a gated community or something like that. <laughs> yeah. That's awfully optimistic on my part. <laughs> like, it, well, it's you're on your way. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Like, it's we're do. I fucking have completely lost track of who I am in this tournament. Dude, you're Ermac and I'm uh, Shiva. Okay, great, fantastic. Then. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, that's so. Sh- that's Shiva. Boy, yeah. she has got a yeah. six pack ab situation. She's gonna win the tournament. Mm. Just so you know. Is she really? Those yeah. are not fake boobs, by the way. They're not fake. <laughs> no. Those no. those do look real. Those are like yeah. Those are I like not the like testosterone. Ben- bench press. Uh, the testosterone's affecting her fingers. <laughs> she <got three> <laughs> <on> <laughs> fingers. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Are you yeah. serious? You could just no. I'm not gonna let you do it. That, oh sh- wow! Yeah. Whoa! 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 Chill out. Hold on. Not cool. Not cool. I'm trying to cheat you. I'm trying to cheat you. Nope. Dang it. Stop. Yeah. No. Stay away. Ha ha. Shit. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> that damn it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, eat it. <laughs> She's going to win the damn tournament. It. No. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> She's wow. my girl. I love it. What I don't get is why she doesn't have four boobs if she has four arms. That's true. That's a yeah. solid question. Well, you don't know. If maybe she has four nipples. But you yeah, true. Wow. That's true. Yeah. That's true. We and should like write one letters. Set of abs is like a. Is like that, an extra it does count. That's a weirdly it's not like intense pose for Raiden. Nipple He's just kind of like. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I guess I'll fight you. <laughs> Whatever. Like he looks like he's doing like um. Oh God, I don't even know what he's like. The, the ball, like I caught a fish like this big, kind of yeah. like. Oh yeah, oh, right, right. It's nice. Um, uh, it's his yang to his stop, ying or yeah, whatever. Stop. Boom. Oh. This is the one move I know in Mortal Kombat. No. Yeah, no. Yay. Yeah. Not cool. Oh, you're, you're talking just about kinda... Sub Zero, right? Mm. Yes. Sub Zero. So how do you how do you defend against that? With you, you guys, what they got? The There's hat a block button. Yeah, just a normal block. Well, oh, not yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. But Aaron can shoot lightning with this character that he's. Oh really? Yeah. I forgot how to do it. Like, he's pretty good. Yeah. We don't know how to do anything. I saw Yay. the eyes. Oh, there it is. Frick. Yeah. That was pretty sweet. Fly actually, right? As, as my mom yeah. would say, see what happens. <laughs> see what happens, Sub Zero. <laughs> see what happens. Where's your mom from? Uh, the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, my my dad's from Israel, so like I know the hilariousness of foreign <laughs> parents. Well, yeah, yeah, right. It's it's endless amount of um, uh, of jokes and and misunderstandings. It's the best. Oh, yeah. It's the best. Who's that comedian? He's really funny. Uh, oh, you're, Joe! You're really Coy. narrowing it down. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Oh, yeah, right, right. Jo Joe Coy is like almost exclusively talks about his mom sometimes, and oh, yeah, well, it's, it's good material. It's so funny. It's so funny. Yeah, my Joe whole, <laughs> My whole childhood was like, see what happens. You broke that. See what happens. No roughhousing down. See what happens. You're crying. See what happens. You fell down. See what happens. You I, broke that. See what happens. I remember we're playing basketball, but three miles away from the house. Somebody twisted an ankle. All of a sudden, you heard. Say what happened? Yeah, from uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, echoing across the countryside. Say yeah, that's your mom in that mountain over there. <laughs> Say what happened? <laughs> yeah, can't so, wait for Miranda to do you know stuff like that with me. So yeah. wait, Aaron, yeah. the, you take over who now? No, I'm Sub Zero. Okay, got so it. So you just screwed yourself. Yeah, over I shouldn't have. Winning. Man, so who's this guy? Oh, so Sub Zero has has more tricks. Yeah, well, it's well, they they all have tricks. We are just yeah. terrible Mortal Kombat players that don't know anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have many. many. Yeah, is that, <laughs> is that new game that Schwarzenegger does? Is that good? What Which game is that? Oh, oh, the one in that Mobile Strike or whatever. Yeah, uh, I haven't played it. You haven't oh. played it. Nah. Yeah. That's your job. I know, Bro. dude. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we are not. We never claim to be good at our jobs. Okay. Oh, oh man. See, so, I just assumed you guys are like masters. Oh was, no, <laughs> that would be a terrible <laughs> assumption. Oh boy. Yeah, it's. I'm sure a lot of people who come to our channel for the first time. Oh damn it, I hate this. Like. Woo, 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 woo. Like um, land on it. Oh, come on. Uh, land on it. No, I'd rather not. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people who come to our channel for the first time. God damn it. <laughs> this Ermac looks a lot like uh, Sub Zero to me, just in yeah. a red thing. Well, yeah. I mean, Sub Zero and uh, Scorpion. Yay. What? Whoa. Oh, oh. Nice taint that, shot. Part of the same ninja clan. Is that what it is? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Um, uh, the real reasoning is because uh, budget cuts. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh. They just already had the graphics for those guys, and they I, were like, let's just make them blue. And yeah, so they That's actually true. have IMDB yeah. credits for, this, the, for the do? first Mortal Kombat. Oh, wow. Yeah, because a lot of these were actors, like, just digitized for the thing. And, like, yeah. so there was this one mm. got karate master, I guess, who I, he played something like six out of the first eight characters. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, they had... They had a low budget, but like it worked out really well because this game's a classic. You, you guys don't have to pay the rights for these games to show them. No, no. Uh, oh, otherwise we couldn't do this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. See, that's pretty where what separates us because on our show, you had to get rights for everything. I remember we had oh, like yeah. we had to go through. We have to call this. There's like an errors and omissions policy. We had to buy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make sure, and then you have to make you Whoa. know. And then there's like even stuff we were at. A, where was it? At a sushi restaurant. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the stuff we had to do there? Oh, no, no, no. The sushi restaurant was a uh, no. It was an extra. No, 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 no. There was uh, yeah. paintings in the sushi restaurant. What? We didn't have the rights to the artist. Didn't give us the right. So we had to go in digitally and re. Oh, you're right. I repaint about that. Yeah, yeah. to to change their paintings and their oh. artwork. Yeah. Because we or didn't have the have we, because we didn't know who the artist was. And so most of the yeah. artists were cool. I don't think anybody turned us down. Or we had to pay some nominal fee, or it just gave us permission. But we had like some we didn't know who the hell they were, like yeah. the guy in the sushi restaurant. So we just, it was just cheaper to just repaint the guy's painting on there in the background. No so kidding. We had to, like so, somebody was sitting in there all night doing that. Yeah, that's that. ridiculous. And, and also, speaking of background, I think this game it. just froze on us. No, it just didn't froze. Are, are you sure? Yeah, no, it's it's um. We can just do a podcast. I do not care. It's like the the dark. 
part of the game. <laughs> this is this is really <laughs> dark for really, really dark. long. I'm yeah. scared. Yeah. Like, yeah. Things go downhill. Is everyone enjoying <laughs> the dark part now. of the game? Yeah, no, this is fine. <laughs> this has happened multiple times before where the game just dies on us, and then we just do a podcast for a while. So what? Sweet. So does it come back on, or does it have to reboot? Dude, uh, dude, that's the only I mean, terminology I have. <laughs> fuck it, fuck reboot. it. I'll tell you what. Now, now we're just hanging way out. To kick us out, probably. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, no. Yeah. Oh no, the game <laughs> oh, stopped. Well, I guess that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. Can, <laughs> can I be? Can I be a fan for one hot second? Yes. Sir. Um, friggin' in the first Deuce Bigelow movie, the uh, off camera, like that's a huge bitch. Is one of my favorite mo moments in all of comedy. Thank you. That, thank you. That's one of the fun things about making movies is that you can still keep coming up in jokes with it never ending. Even like after you're done filming, you get you do a mix, and as you mix it, you start thinking, wouldn't it be funny? So I had my buddy come down, Matt Selman, who's uh, uh, one of the, the head writers of uh, he runs the room at the Simpsons, wow. and. Uh, he said, come on down. So, and he likes loves movies. So he came down and he helped write some of the really funny stuff. He bitch man whore. That was him. Oh, cool. Him and Dan Graney were the guys riffing on that. I came up with man whore. And these guys came up with he bitch man slut and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> you're the best he bitch in my man stable. <laughs> and that was Dan Graney. One of the, he's another Simpsons genius. I love so, it. So, so Matt came to the, we're mixing. And one that, uh, you know, it's funny because there was a big German guy playing the, um, the seven foot, Eight woman or whatever. Yes, yes. And uh, he he didn't, you know, as Germans, they don't necessarily have the best sense of humor. Oh uh, shit! As you know, except you know, maybe it's taking the Sudetenland from Czechoslovakia at the time. That, that was pretty funny. That was one of their big, <laughs> big 20th century jokes. So anyway, he said, you know, he said, why don't they show my face? And I heard him in the makeup trailer going, maybe if they put on some makeup and make me pretty, they'll show my face. Because <laughs> he wanted to get his face Sweet. on there. Aww. Anyway, oh poor so, guy. Um, Slash woman. So, so anyway, while we're showing, while we're doing the mix, you know, which putting all the different music and blah, 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 and the sound and then the vocals and on the voices. And uh, Matt was in there, so you should just have somebody yell out, that's a huge bitch! <laughs> and so we had a guy there, Roger, who was uh, just, you know, African-American guy, he said, like, and he just had a great voice for it. He's an awesome and voice. And so we just, we used it in like three more movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's a huge bitch! <laughs> you know, people look for it. And sometimes I put it at the end of a movie with, for no reason. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> at the end of the second one, I just said, we just put it in at the end of the credits for people who really, really are real fans. Yep. And let's put it into so at the end of the credits. You, That's a huge bitch. It's like you know, <laughs> it, just in case you leave the movie on to, uh, for the very end. It makes me really happy, man. And like the the part where Eddie Griffin is getting like tomatoes like that float onto his chest from the jacuzzi, like that shit just cracked me up so much. And it's like, it's it's a, it's funny how like little moments of comedies. I don't know if you're yeah, this way. Yeah, it's a minutia. The same yeah. too. It's a little. I never that get remember me. plots. Yeah, it's, it's the stuff that 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 gets me and and uh, and. and uh, the stupidness of it. Basically, their guys were. There was like soup they were in the jacuzzi. Right. And exactly. Just the silliness of it. Silliness to me. I was. Uh, I was very lucky last October. I uh, I heard John Cleese and Eric Idle were performing in in uh, Jacksonville. So I said, Patricia, hey, they're performing. She said, Oh, just go. So I went out there and they just were doing a couple sketches and talking for a couple hours. And they were nice enough to you know go out and have some drinks after. And he said the thing about Monty Python was these guys were writers writing for themselves to perform. So there really wasn't those egos involved. Mm. And he said that the, the key to our humor was it was silly. Right. It was the silliest stuff, the stuff that made themselves laugh. That was the stuff that they went for. That was so unique about it. That's why they didn't do political humor or it wouldn't have lasted 50 years. Right, mm -hmm. right. Know, 40 years. Yeah. And it really was because and that stuff was just, you know, the, you know, the minister of silly walks, his people, <laughs> he just physically got to a great place. And he showed stuff I'd never seen before. They showed he was playing, he plays, there's a video of him playing Little Red Riding Hood. Mm -hmm. Where he's Little Red Riding Hood, and just and it's a he's just physically the funniest guy I've ever seen in my life, John Cleese. Yes. He's like six foot six of funny. He's huge. Yeah, he's so huge. Mm -hmm. Physically, he can just do stuff other people can't. His legs are a foot and a half longer than most people's, <laughs> so he's able to do stuff. Were you a Faulty Towers fan? Oh my oh, God! Yeah. That's, I mean, well, that's what really that was mm -hmm. the you know I flew out there said that's what we were hoping to do because he said that uh, Faulty Towers. He wrote it with his wife at the time, Connie Booth, and uh, he said, and, and I went and we went out for drinks. And I told him what we were doing. I said, "You're my influence for, you know, you're my oh, hero. Sure. You're influence for writing the show." Patrice and I wrote it together. He said, "Did you write all the episodes together before you shot?" And I went, "Yeah, well, that's just what we did. Because then you can get someplace interesting." And um, wow. and he he edited himself, and he did. They said the average uh, edit was 250 edits for a BBC show, and the average edit, you know, we put 450. So roughly. He did twice as many edits. In mm. other words, each cut. So he really worked, worked, worked those episodes mm -hmm. more, and really were tight. Wow. And they were just, you know, it's the Mona Lisa of sitcoms. And he said, um, 
And as he was getting up to leave, the last thing he said to me was like, well, uh, so you've done the first season. He said, you're going to start writing the second one? I said, yeah, I'm going to start writing it. Well, interestingly, uh, the first season we wrote together, we were married. The second season we wrote together, we were divorced. <laughs> no shit. They, I didn't know that happened while they were wow. filming it. This was, I didn't know either, but I guess it was three years later. I think they did the first one in 75 or 76, and the last one in 79. There's there's only 12 episodes, which is crazy 13, to me. I think 13. 13. God, that's <laughs> nuts. Pilot. Yeah, I know. And it's considered the greatest sitcom ever. Yeah. Wow. You've seen most of them, right? Yeah. More, more yeah. than half of them, yeah. So after you said that, were you like... I gotta get home to my wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this. Uh, we're gonna make this relationship work. Cause um, I really like our house. I don't want to. Have to <laughs> we have a lot of great stuff together. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've purchased some fine articles, dude. We've made a nice child. I it, I do want to say it's funny because like this has been a, a long recording day for us, and we also we we almost never have guests on the show. It's very rare for us, and um. And I hope you don't stop after this. Like, no, this is it. it's awesome. We <laughs> yeah. love it. It's a great yeah. time, Rob. That's why we, we are never. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so I'm so the last <laughs> guest ever on Game. Ground. I'm so sick of Aaron. And like, it's just, the cool thing was we had we start um, this morning. We had Steve-O on uh, from oh, Jackass. Yeah. yeah, and man, the experience of having you on the show and Steve-O on the show could not be more different. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's both like so great in its own ways. But man, that dude, he is a ball of friggin' energy. Yeah, and like yeah. you guys are like so chill. And, I'm sure like, there's something in, behind that energy. At least there used to be. Yeah, yeah, Some no chemicals. No, in he, that energy. Yeah, <laughs> believe me, he Infused told us all about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was not shy. But he's he's. Uh, I really respect the guy because he made a transition in his career and he's what he's doing now and. You know, I, I work yeah. with them. Unfortunately, I did a stand-up date with him, which wasn't like really a stand-up date because it's with Steve-O. But the, the audience loved it. And unfortunately, I was backstage where he does this the disappearing penis bit, where <laughs> I do not know he, about he this. He puts it between his legs, and then unfortunately, I was back behind. The oh, curtain. you got the fruit basket. <laughs> so I, got, yeah, I got the whole basket. <laughs> the like secret that. goat or something. The like secret that. goat. Yeah. Can you see it from behind? Oh, it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a secret. So how was he though? He's good. He was awesome, oh, he man. Was great. He like so much fun. So so chill and so well not chill, but like a, a cool guy and yeah. like down to earth and like very honest about yeah, his experience. Very honest. Experiences so cool. like positive and negative. Yeah, and the only guy I've ever known is had like um things a staple gun on his ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, uh, we but were... also he's very athletic. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's a great I mean, athlete. Beyond all the crazy stuff that he does, yeah. I mean he really can do Real yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All those guys were incredible athletes. I mean, yeah. Really. Like, yeah. they all risked their lives to do it. Well, just, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I'm a a complete uh, sucker for, like, the physical humor, no matter what. Those guys driving down in slow motion to that Valkyrie's... Uh, yeah. In, ...in the gigantic shopping cart, beating the shit out of each other, punching each other <laughs> in the face. To me, there's nothing funnier than that. Yeah. Yeah. That was just screamingly funny. They mm -hmm. had me at... Uh, at the at the in the cart in the yeah. shopping cart yeah yeah in the beginning yeah. of Jackass movie yeah. and it was just it was what a great <laughs> choice to have like Wagner playing <laughs> in a gigantic shopping cart punching each other in the face but to me it was just like it was like um, heaven uh, just for a comedy fan to me it's like that and Borat I, I don't think I've ever laughed harder in my life yeah well, he had a great show that we loved remember oh my that, god that that's, a, that's like, the best show I've ever on television killer killer karaoke Which? or something killer oh, yeah. karaoke I don't, I don't know Steve this oh my god oh my you have god, to see it oh, really tell them what that is it was. It was great. No, you have to see it. Okay. Seriously, you have to explain have what to it is. It. Well, basically, you know, it's it's called, it, it is killer karaoke, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have to, you know, sing a song, but while you're singing, some bad shit is happening to you. <laughs> and, and the goal is to not stop singing. No oh, matter what that's happens. awesome. So, and so, like, oh what? Oh, my God. No, there are many. <laughs> what is it? What is the name they, they, of those things that they put on? on um, it's like a, a dog what? shock. Yeah. Dog shock collar. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And so they're singing it while they're getting shocked. While they're trying to, they're singing and they're serving you dinner while they're getting shocked. Yeah. Oh, it's and then, oh, you're uh, gonna see it. And then it's like they have a beautiful girl and she's sitting in a chair and they're lifting her up and lifting her up on a crane and and they drop her in this ice cold water and they start throwing alligators and snakes in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! In, while they're in the water, <laughs> it's just it's made for television. It right. Is, it is ridiculous. I bet you guys would like what's what's the show. Aaron, the Japanese show. Gaki no Tsukai. Yeah, yeah, I bet you guys oh. would love this show. Yeah. It, it's it's five comedians. You know what? You can explain it a lot better than I yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. So what it's, is that? It's, it's these guys, and they, they give each other challenges, and they're usually small challenges, but they're like, they're physical stuff that's like really stupid, just like rolling the dice or whatever. But then whoever loses then has to be punished by the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> and so then they, they come up with these elaborate situations where like, for example, uh, this the one guy who lost 
has like this fake apartment built for him and then he has to go through his day as it's being narrated over the speakers like as if nothing's happening but all the other guys are throwing pies at him the like, the whole for time. hours and so he just has to pretend like it's like oh I'm washing my face now and like so he watches his face and then they just pie him right in the face <laughs> and he's just like well, all right so anyway time to get coffee <laughs> and wow. and they really huck those pies at yeah. him it is merciless like, total commitment like those guys are amazing it's such a funny show the, I think you would love it yeah, you yeah. Can write down for me because yeah. I already lost the name of it no problem no problem what is it again Gaki no Tsukai Gaki no Tsukai Gaki they're not the guys who did the fall down down the lotion stairs, are they? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's but I'll write it down. the other one that was. Did they do the cat scan one? Was that them? Yes. Yeah. That was them, yeah. They, what was that? <laughs> please, Aaron, enjoy. So, <laughs> <laughs> you love talking they, about this. It was a challenge. And so they, they go into like a, a hospital and there's like an MRI machine. And so they each go in one by one and they can't talk to each other and they can't laugh. Yeah. So they go in and they get, they sit in and that like wheels them into the, the, the spot and everything into the little cubby. And then once they get in there, there's like this this old woman's face just like <laughs> cut out, and it's actually a woman, and she just stares them in the face, and then like their thing goes up to get scanned, and then and then she just kisses them, <laughs> and they, and they can't, can't laugh. laugh. <laughs> if they laugh, they fail. And yeah, they all fail. Yeah, of course. As soon as they saw her face, they're like, oh. <laughs> Wow. It's wonderful. It's just watching other people get tortured in a very silly, fun yeah, that's way. That's what the killer care. I'm surprised yeah. that Steve-O didn't talk about this. He talked about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. We ran out of time. I feel like if we had like a, another six hours, we might have gotten to yeah, it. Yeah, it's, what, it's What's crazy. a good story that, that Steve-O said? Oh, now I'm curious. She, geez. Geez. He, well, he, he talked about... Well, personally, our favorite moment was in, in a conversation where he was talking about how many times he's been hit in the head. Uh, in the midst of that and he was like yeah, dude, that's gotta affect me and then he zoned out for like 30 <laughs> seconds and just didn't say anything no, 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 what, happened, what happened was like he was, he was adjusting the mic to, to sit and then he just like went like this Just holding the mic and I was like hey, dude, I can like I can adjust wow. that for you and he was like ah oh, No, dude, it's okay. I just I just I just don't sound out for you. <laughs> that's <laughs> really good. Steve, huh? crazy. He's so funny. He's hey, but so that's the you know, but the you know Physical com physical comedians. Um, it's like football players. Yeah, they can have some damage. That's exactly what he said. And I tore both my rotator cuffs. Wow, no really? Shit. I broke my ankle eight days before filming this uh, martial arts comedy, Big Stan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, you like that one? I'm, I'm, I'm even more of an asshole. Than that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just taped it up, and just we had we got the money. It's an independent film. Let's just shoot. God so I damn. just kind of limped and kind of grimaced the whole movie, like, hmm. Wow. And so you just put a Steve-O. I mean, I, I can't even compare myself. Wait, yeah, so was that, that just happenstance, or were you doing a like, practice? I, I, was, I was just, I was doing, a, we did about seven months of martial arts training, not because I wanted to do seven months. That's how long it took to get the financing. <laughs> so I was like, you know, as a director, I was like, oh, man, how long is it going to take to get this effing money? And then, but as a martial arts student... Uh, I was like, well, it's going to give me more time to get better at this nunchuck stuff. And then some a little stuff like the nunchucks, which I learned the Bruce Lee one that he did in, um, I forget which one it was. It was like Enter the Dragon. Enter or the something. Dragon, yeah. So, uh, and so I learned how to, to, to do the same routine. Oh, no and, shit. And I figured it out. But, and then when it came down to, I was supposed to make it out of soap bars in the prison. So by the time I was doing with the soap bars, the weight was heavier. Yeah, it's totally so different. So it was like, I had to like, it was just... It threw it off. Oh, so yeah. it was, you know, yeah, I, I, I'm complaining. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting my ass stapled like uh, Stevo, but it was like, you know, it's just different, you know. So it was just uh, uh, some of the stuff that I did. I remember I got thrown into a wall, got a concussion on Deuce Bigelow, and they had, you know, one of the, one of the notes from the studio at the time was, "You should do a thing about the Matrix." So we did some dumb joke about the Matrix, and it, so it, the the dumb joke was me getting this girl jumps up and then throws me, kicks me into the wall. Right, and it does the camera twirl around thing, right, yeah, 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 yeah. gay thing that's not gonna stand. <laughs> that's not gonna stand the, the test of time. You know, it's like in twenty years from now, that's not gonna be funny. Trust me. Right. Let's just do real stuff. But anyway, so you know, it was their money. So I did that joke and. Um, and I got a big laugh at the time. So I, and they threw me into the wall. And I remember my, my head hit, and I just, and the, the stunt coordinator, you know, came over and said, What's your name? And I went, What do you mean, what's my name? And they were like, What's your name? And I went, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. Uh, That's and it, crazy. It lasted 11 days. 
Oh, wow. Like, where, I, where I was just, it was just like, I was out of it. Wait, so you oh, were shit. conscious? Oh, I was conscious, but I definitely had a concussion. Wow. So it wasn't a moment where you hit the wall and they were like, great take, Rob. <laughs> Rob? No, but I, I, I knew enough to, I kind I just, just stand up. Just your instinct is to get up. So imagine all those football players and stuff, all these other guys out there, the steve of the world, could do it, just keep doing it and not yeah. say anything. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't say anything and I did the stunt the second time. Mm -hmm. Right after that, they made me do it again. And I didn't say I was hurt or anything, and I just I really made sure and tucked so it wouldn't hit my head again. But I, that's like dangerous. Totally. Yeah. I remember uh, an interview with Brett Favre uh, talking about a game. I think it was him, but he's talking he about. He came on Game Grumps. No, I oh, wish. I fucking wish. But, but he talked about a game where like he threw six touchdowns, like had an incredible game, and didn't remember like the second half. He was like, I have no recollection. And meanwhile, he's killing it, like doing everything wow. perfectly. It's just, just on it's like music to those guys. I think great athletes have to be like musicians in that sense, where like. The last thing that goes is the thing that they're doing. Right. You know what I mean? Like, the, mm -hmm. if, for like, uh, if you ever hear, you know, the guy, you know, Jerry Lee Lewis, you know, great balls of fire. You know, he, he sings a song, but after the songs, between the songs, he, <laughs> and he, he's just, just gibberish. Wow. Really? But while he's singing, and then he gets right on the songs, great balls of fire. So I think the music is, in, and the same thing with, it's just deeper. It's just in there, hmm. and it, it's someplace in their core of their brain that just, you know, where they, it's the last thing to go. And same thing, I think, with, with athletes who've been doing it since they were, like, six. Like, yeah. you know, I bet you're right. It's just, he just, you know, it's not exactly autopilot, but it's it's deep within there, and it's the last thing that's going to go. The weirdest thing mm. to me is when actors, like, really great actors, you see them interviewed, and you're, it's just like, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. they just can't yeah. string a sentence together. And yeah, I like, know, like, an Academy Award, multi-Academy Award winning um, guy. I don't want to say his name. Yeah, no. You can guess who it is, but, like, he's just... Not a particularly interesting guy to sit down. It and talk rhymes with, with the bitch game grumps. Kale. <laughs> yeah, no, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> but if you sat down, you, you, tr trust me, the game grumps episode with him would not be more than six minutes long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's just, but uh, but while they're performing, it's 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 interesting. It yeah. really works well because they're just in that moment, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and I try not to be as as. Uh, yeah, I just whatever it takes for them to get what they're doing at that time. It's right. Interesting. Right. Have you heard the Mel Blanc story when he was uh, he was in a coma. No. I, I don't know if it's real or not, but it was in his biography. Mel Blanc, the voice yeah. actor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mel Blanc. Yeah. That guy did about 80 different voices. Yeah, he was yeah. like Bugs Bunny. And, and, and he, it, it, that sounded completely different. Yeah, yeah. it was he crazy. Was, he He's saw, incredible. Uh, all the Bugs Bunny ones. and like, yeah. uh, Very so he, gifted. He, he was in a coma for a long time, and they couldn't do anything to get him out of it. And then uh, f finally, I think one of his family members uh, just came up with the idea of talking to him in character. So, they would, so you know, they'd talk to him and say, hey, Mel, hey, Mel, and he wouldn't pay, wake up, and then he'd go, Hey Bugs, how you doing? And then immediately he was like, "Nah, eh, what's up, Doc?" Whoa, yeah. wow. that's weird. And yeah. did he he woke up out of the coma and stayed out? I don't know what happened after that, but that's the story. Is like that moment. Hmm. That's super interesting. Wow. God, the brain is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, this yeah. took a deep turn after Mortal Kombat. How <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that happened? It's totally fine. I mean, like we should wrap yeah. this episode up anyway because we're coming on an hour. But like that was great. Yeah, yeah. dude, I enjoyed that. Thank I'm you. so glad. Like, thanks. You're welcome on our show anytime. Yeah, both of, of you. Guys. Thank you. What will come on before we do we're not allowed to say we're getting picked up for the second season of, of uh, what did you call real rob again oh uh not bullshit, absolutely rob. not bullshit rob <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be picked up for the absolutely not bullshit rob yep we're not allowed to say yet but uh, we're writing it but we're writing it yeah and uh yeah. so but there'll, there'll be an announcement soon fucking yeah. awesome keep and, having fun yeah. doing what you're yeah. doing man and, and so when we have the second season we're gonna sneak it to you Oh, oh, sweet! Yeah, so you can see it, and so you can shit on it first. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to record all his reactions yeah. for you guys. So and, we'll and do, yeah. We'll, we'll have like a special sneak for you guys first. Thanks, man. Before the show's on, we'll do like uh, Patricia can beat can beat both of you in Mortal Kombat, and we'll also have the show on. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be we'll do a split part. screen. Oh, yes. you guys, the technical ability for that. Oh, of course. No, absolutely. We, we could have we like could. thirty things happening at once. This could be like the the, the architect in the Matrix. That's yeah. what we could do. Yeah, we, we can make that should happen that sounds good but thank you so much for coming on yeah, guys thank you and you're welcome thank you yeah let's thanks Aaron. thanks thanks dan yeah. for oh thank fun. you for both liking patricia because she was yeah. she said we should definitely do that one oh, well, yeah. well now yeah, we yeah, now we've, yeah let's go now but we them. both like you both so because right. we know the human beings and that's more important than anything continue success oh, for you guys we had fun and, and all the game grumpers out there thanks for listening and uh thanks for all those tweets fuck yeah oh yeah thanks yeah. for me yeah you guys made this happen yeah, so seriously. that's rad all right all right see you later everybody we love you Bye. Bye. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, we got one. Got eight player combat? That's, yeah, dude. That's too much combat. It's the future. <laughs> the future of 1996. Haven't you ever played a PlayStation?